Okay, it's the next day now and this is the second cut. So I've actually put a finishing tool, a front finishing tool, into the machine. Now we're just taking a finishing pass. It's not quite touching everywhere because that surface is a bit rough from the uh, roughing tool. You can see the difference in the texture. When you're looking on the right hand side is the rough material from the roughing pass. On the left is the front finishing tool. So you can see the difference. Now we'll take another cut after this and see what it's like. We're only just scraping the surface in places, in fact some places are not quite touching. But we'll take another cut after this one. This is just, just about cutting. Okay, we're on the second finishing pass now. I've just had a good look at the feed mechanism here. And I was wondering what was causing it to bind and then it was putting the cut on as you saw in previous videos. And then it was taking some off uh, because it was sticking somewhere. And what I found was this rod itself was bent the other way. So it was binding everything up. The clutch here was binding and the whole lever mechanism here was binding. So when it was moved, it would turn that whether the, the uh, ball was engaged or not. But as you can see now, it's actually feeding correctly. Let's look at that now. There you go. I've got it so it feeds at the end of the front. So the end of the cutting stroke. Look at that peeling that chip off. Beautiful. Nice finishing cut there. Alright, I've just set a dial test indicator up here and we can just have a look to see how much it's feeding. I don't know if you can see that. It's about 22,000. And you can see when it comes to the back of the cutting stroke, there's no movement in the dial, or any back feed or anything like that. Let's just watch that. You watch it now. And there you go, nothing moved at all. Let's just confirm how much it's moving. Every stroke. They are 22 thereabouts. We could probably get 23. I'll just take this off. I want it to smash off because we're at the end of the travis on the uh, on the indicator. But we could probably get a little bit out, more out of this here. But you know, we're on the limits now. And I don't want to push it any further than we, we have to. You know, we would have to come out a little bit further, but you're virtually on the edge. And I don't want to do that. That's okay as it is, that is. It's going to be a very consistent feed now. It's quite pleasing. There's a lot less friction or resistance now in all this. You can tell it's moving a lot freer now. That actually means there's more power available for cutting much more efficiency but that's a lot better that is now I'm pleased with that you can see we're still we're still cutting away there and peeling the chip off it's actually quite smooth that uh, surface had a good look at it we could improve it by making that tool a little bit sharper but I think we'll leave it as it is I'm not far to go now. I've probably got about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Something of that nature. Very close to the edge. Well, there we are, it's no longer cutting. So quite happy with that. Actually very smooth that is. It may not look smooth but it is smooth. We'll just let this do its last pass and then we'll just switch it off then. And there we go, we'll just switch that off there. 
All right, excellent. It's very smooth. All right, I'm going to clean all that down. And check that face, make sure I'm happy with it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean the machine off and turn this over. And we'll machine the other side then. See if we can get it parallel. Alright, thanks for watching.